pretty cool. Over 270, 250 United 233, Wash Roger Lower here for you shortly. Shuttle Since the path 11, angle is given, or a, a constant in this equation, we're going to control airspeed today with, with power. And that means if it gets bumpy, which it may, we might set a lower power setting. I've been pulling it back a little bit. Yeah, so I would choose a number and pull it back, let's say 800. 800, okay. And then if it gets bumpy, we'll come back to a minimum of 500 pounds, which will give us slightly above 130 knots in the descent. Air shuttle 6017, you can go fast now, resume published at Mosley. Outside air temperatures between plus 10 and minus 20, so that gives us the authority to turn on the prop heat. Okay, you got it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought That's you already right. had it. Okay, I got it. And now stall, pedo, and prop are all on, and we make uh, some vigilance for ice. One of the first places we're going to see it without too much trouble is on the windshield. I elect not to turn on the windshield until it's needed. I think I see a little on the tail now. Uh, because it uh, uh, it's sometimes nice to know what's going on on the rest of the airplane, and the windshield gives us a chance to see that. The glass and the plexi, on top the left and right, have different uh, characteristics in that regard, so want to see them both. I seem to pick it up on the back of the tail. All right, well, if you see ice, run the boots. Well, I don't see it on the front. Is that ice on the top of the tail, or is that the color? It might just be white back there. I think I might be seeing. No, there's no ice on the tail. Okay. So we've come through a layer, thin layer, at minus one seven, negative ice. We got another layer to go. We've been promised some ice, but we should be all right. The newest feature uh, available in four flight, at, as of this recording, is the. Uh, the CIP, FIP information, current icing potential forecast icing potential, which has been available in the uh, imagery portion of ForeFlight for, for a long time, then more recently on the map as an overlay, and now even more recently in the profile on the uh, flight plan map page. These are extraordinarily useful tools. They're a bit Number, conservative. Uh, two, five, zero, ten, you know, maintain one one eleven thousand. One one eleven thousand three two five Sierra Tango. This is I speed it back up. That's the way it is. But with this higher VMO, we have lots of options. It's a very very comfortable airplane to fly. Five, 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 heading one nine zero. In the descent now from uh, nine or thousand, or leveling at nine or thousand, and uh, we're on our way into Carroll County Delta Mike Whiskey, and we've been told to expect some uh, some ice uh, from eight down to four, and uh, the approach begins at twenty six hundred. If we get direct Faust, we might be able to get down to three. So we're, um, the strategy is to have the ice equipment on and uh, report what we get. But on the way out this morning, it was uh, trace to light. It wasn't a worry, although the CIP FIP had it pegged as a little more severe. That product tends to be a little conservative, which I consider to be a good thing. So I'm certainly not complaining. But if you endeavor not to encounter more than light ice at any point in the Piper Meridian or M600, you're likely never to have a problem with ice. In the piston aircraft, which has less power, it's more important to stay within that rule. Eight and, we above the and I, when I say the CIP, and, uh, FIP, the I'm talking about nine. the current icing okay. potential, forecast icing potential data in foreflight on the map, not in the imagery, and not the XM icing product, which is very overstated and, and older, and therefore not 
as useful. We've got a request in for direct Faust intersection, and uh, we're hanging out here at 9. ATC is aware of the ice between 8 and 4, and so we're expecting that they'll give us a good clearance with that in mind without having to ask for it. But if we have to ask, we will. Turn right heading 120 and descend and maintain 3000. 3000 and 120. 5 Sierra Tango. 120 and 3000. You guys should go to speed or? Um, I would definitely use VS. My banana. There's my banana way yeah, out there. Let's get rid of it. It'll come in. A split screen here. I got you. Thank you. Now that you're on a vector, consider activating activating vectors to friendly final. 160, turn right heading 010. Right turn 010, friendly 160. Oh. oh. Back, bottom, nope, yep, yeah, good. Now that draws the line, it shows us where she's taking us. And if she gives us direct Faust, we can do that. The prop heat. Yep, so pumps, manual, you can go manual, manual now on that. Pumps, igniters, hots, pulse. And not yet. We don't have. Well, we're not going to get a clearance to land, so you can put that on if you want to get that done. Got some moisture. Got yeah, some ice we're still ice. clean, of course. Now we've got. Uh, got ice. Yeah, we got we got the uh, what looks like trace. So activate the boots and let's see what happens. Look over your right shoulder. Your tail pop. goes first. They're popping. There's a little light ice on the tail. All right, so the amount of ice is dependent on what happens. Did any break off? So I call this uh, trace rhyme at this point. It doesn't seem to be breaking off because it's too little. And the windshield is icing up, yep. and that's to be expected. So let's... Uh, Okay, you got that on default. Good. Yep. That'll help. Thousand feet a minute. You're good with that. Uh, yeah, for now. We're. Only one sixty. Clear direct to Lancaster. Direct Lancaster. Only one sixty. Down to three, so we should be getting Clear out of the arrival. ice before we get on the arrival. We're gonna we just uh. Popping some ice off. Yeah. So I call that uh, still trace. It's it's not really breaking off. It's too little. Uh, there isn't uh, some break off the back, but all right. So trace to light, and I call it mixed. I wouldn't call it rhyme anymore. There it's six thousand. Whatever high your finger, turn left heading 100, to set maintain 2600. 100 and 2600. 2600. Very good. To actually see the ground. <laughs> Breaking That's, out already. Yeah, so ragged bases 6, at 6000. And uh, we got some ice on there. Yeah, trace to light ice, trace to light mixed in the descent minus 10 C. Why don't you give her that? Uh, Atomic uh, bases at six, light to mixed ice. Was trace to light. Mixed ice just above the bases, sir. 
Yeah, trace the light from uh, eight, 8 to 6 in the descent. We're clear. It's below 6. Okay, thanks for the fire American 188, uh, 1000 via Terp. American 188, departure, better contact, climb via Terp 7, departure. Climb via Terp 7, American 188. So it's, uh, it's good from time to time to refresh your knowledge. American 109, Potomac, Quebec. 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 Well, the, the trick is to call it the same thing everybody else is calling it. The only hope we have of doing that is uh, American 188, using the uh, yeah. light uh, rhyme from 6,000 to 7,000. Uh, 188, Roger. We cleared above four. American 188, from it up to 17,000 now. Climb via. So you can see the line of demarcation where the low windshield is uh, yep. causing the ice to uh, not accumulate any further. Here on the plexiglass side with no uh, window heat, we still have some accumulation, but I'm still see your tango clear direct to south. Clearing your side from south, maintain 2,600 till established on the final push course. Cleared RNAV 34 approach. Direct Faust, uh, maintain 2,600 till Faust and clear for the RNAV 34 approach. Five zero tango. Uh, you got to arm it. That's it. Good. All right, so we have a centered needle on our way to Faust. We're 4,000 descending, 2,600. There's some uh, broken layer here in front of us, but uh, should be an issue. Equipment's working properly. Can you slow down a little bit? By all means, yeah, 500 pounds or even 450-ish. We'll have a chance to fiddle with it. That way when we level off, we get our preferred speed. There's some ice in unprotected areas on the aircraft. Uh, but it's flying just fine, and uh, the stall-worn ice schedule has activated automatically. We're not going to disable that because we, we don't really know the condition yet. American 188, contact departure, 118.95 today. 1895, so. Here comes Faust. Right, so once the needle is centered and the white banner flashes announcing Faust, we can do the next thing. To so 2100. 2100. So go ahead and do that. And then we can take a frequency change or wait till we get the field. But I can't go below 2400 until I'm inside Faust. Yeah, you are inside Faust, though. I am? Yeah, see, that's Faust. a... Well, because we made the turn, I got you. Yes, yeah, so okay. that Faust is a flyby, yeah, not a flyover. Okay. So you're considered established inside of Faust. 2100 to cast, and then we should have an active glide slope by that point. Yeah, so now we have a minus 3C, and even the unheated parts of the plane are the becoming ice. free. Yep. Remember, factor tango change to advisor is approved. Don't forget to cancel. We'll cancel with her now. We see the airport. Uh, Potomac, I go ahead and cancel at this point. I got the airport in sight. Five Sierra Tango. Remember, five Sierra Tango. Thanks. I copied the cancellation. Have a good evening. Thanks. Have a good day. All right. So now you're monitoring one there. So get rid of that. Yeah. Good. We're seven and a half from the field, landing three four. All right, four fifty, slowing down a little, looking for third twenty knots. Yeah, see the difference with the ice schedule. See your, see where your white arc is now. Yep, much higher. Yeah, much higher. So don't be fooled by that. We <laughs> yep, we want to you know still use flaps at the correct speeds. Yeah, so the boots are clearing off now as well. Yeah, I just saw something come off. Negative 1C. Okay. okay, two miles from cast. Or 2100. 
slowing down nicely. Yes, we're one one thirty here. Yes. Well, let's try. That's all right. Let's try. Right, because we're gonna want to be. We're gonna want one twenty in a minute, aren't we? Yeah, we are. I figure. We're okay. No, you're good. That's good. Because we're gonna start going down here in a minute. Yep. That's okay. Got the carrot. Glide slips alive. Glides alive. All right, so we're watching for the green GP. Yep. To go active. And gear down, flaps down. There it goes. Side slips alive. Friendly 109, turn right heading 120, vectors to final. 120, yes, heading 109. Check gear. No, you're good. You got to get that gear down and the flaps and Check get that gear. power set. Yeah. Otherwise, you get distracted by the the noises. How about a three mile final call? Sure. Well, on the, uh, I mean, I'm a little low, but it's actually bringing me down decently. There's my 112. Okay, like to get good. A little more juice. Squeeze a little power yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, flap config. Okay, that's that's a function of uh, the icing schedule. Okay. So we're clean now. So lose that schedule, and you'll lose that alarm. I gotta hold it. Oh. Oh, uh, we gotta turn off that. Yeah. There, good. 500. Looks good. Keep the wings level. 90 knots or better until the threshold. Find that center line. Yep. Careful with the turns. Right. Yep. Hold it still now. Don't dive for it. Do not dive for it. Lift the nose gently. Good. Right there. Now run that trim. Right rudder. Left tail around. Idle. Idle. Right. Nicely done. Push with both rudders, not brakes, rudders. A uh, rudder? Why not brake? Just the rudders until you get it to quit, to quit yanking back and forth. Yeah, I got brakes. Yeah. All right. In other words, get it, get it under control on the runway before you start using brakes. Yeah. All right. Nicely done. We've got some alerts, so as soon as we clear, we'll take care Dick of Dick Rochford, fly safely. Train off it.